it was a lot of work, but we got all the orders out. They were done accurately. And it's times like that that, you know, I really started kind of realizing that this was maybe getting to be a little bit more than what I could just handle. people always ask me how I ever take a vacation or go out of town because they know how much I tend to work on Speedcube shop related stuff. And it kind of made me think of back before I really had a full staff and it was just myself really running the store and how vacations looked. So I never really actually took vacations, but the one exception I made was to go to the Bondurant High Performance Driving School up in Phoenix, Arizona, which was about seven and a half hours from our location in Bakersfield. So at that time I was really, really nervous, but I could not pass up the opportunity. It was gifted to me as a birthday present and me being the driving nut that I am. I mean, what's more fun than to go drive some, at the time, I think it was the C7 Corvettes before they went to the Viper ACRs, then to now the Dodge Hellcats. But anyway, I remember thinking to myself, like how am I gonna get all these orders packed? Because I, just refuse to shut down the store. Like I'm not the kind of person who likes to give up on stuff like that. And I just feel like if you go to a website and it says that, oh, we're closed for a week or whatever, it just kind of sends an unprofessional message. But I do know there are circumstances for that. So I'm definitely not hating on anyone that, that might do that to be clear. So I came up with the idea that I would FaceTime my girlfriend at the time, um, now my fiance, Veronica, I would FaceTime her every night after a long day of driving out in the summer um, Phoenix heat, and I would have to direct her which rack to walk to, which item to grab. She'd have to show it to the camera to verify it, and I'd have to like literally walk her through the entire process. So I remember that I would, the only spot I really had to work that was quiet was on these two tables right outside of the elevators because my dad was using the room and I was staying up until like 12.30 or I think 1 in the 1 a.m. getting this all done, which really wasn't the best for driving, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I remember I would be sitting there and occasionally like some straggler would walk up the elevator and just open it, like thinking that one would be there. And I'm just right there working on the phone. It was a little awkward, but I would go and like print all the orders from my laptop and save them as a PDF, send them over to Veronica's computer or my computer at the house and have her print them. And then she would FaceTime me and then she'd show me the invoice, read it off. And I would have to go and direct her where to find the item and then verify which one on the shelf it was. And if there wasn't any there, where to find more. And it was a lot of work. I mean, we spent hours, like probably two and a half, three hours a night doing this. And um, it was a lot of work, but we got all the orders out. They were done accurately. And it's times like that, that, you know, I really started kind of realizing that this was maybe getting to be a little bit more than what I could just handle. So luckily now I'm in a position to where I can go and travel and do things I need to do and not have to spend hours on the phone directing people where to find cubes and help them pack orders.